what's up everyone welcome back my name is Leanne Epp and this is my channel DIY Beauty on Purpose today we have for you some really exciting DIYs that you're going to love I absolutely love taking something that is very simple and common and giving them a whole new purpose and today we are working with some napkins this beautiful faux cutting board is from the Target Dollar Spa it was five dollars and I really love the white tone that it already had these napkins are from Ikea. Of course, you can use any napkin you have at home or from any store you have available. I'm also going to use some parchment paper, some clear wrapping paper, and as well as a heat press, but you can use an iron if you'd like. I'm going to remove all of the layers of the napkin until I have just one layer left. I'm going to then place the plastic clear wrap, then the napkin on top, and then the parchment paper, and we are going to attach it using this technique and the heat press. I'm just gonna keep ironing it. So if you have an iron, just keep at it every so often, check on it and see if it's attaching. I saw this technique done by another creator on Instagram and I thought, what? I have to try this and it worked. It attached perfectly. I don't know how it happened, but it did. I'm gonna use a sanding block to remove the excess napkin from the sides as well as the plastic and look how beautiful that sanded. It is gorgeous. I'm just going to lightly sand a little bit more for a bit more of a distressed look. I am not going to take the polycrylic in the crystal clear and I'm just going to give it one coat all over the surface. This is just going to seal everything in place and keep it safe from any water. I completely forgot to cut off the little hole from the handle. So I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. Once it was dry, I'm going to sand it down very lightly to give it a very smooth finish. I'm going to add some embellishments. I'm going to take this white nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I am going to tie it around the neck. I separated all the strands because I wanted to have more of a curly, kind of like crazy look. I don't know what I was thinking, but I love the way it turned out. I'm just going to fray all the strands until they are as full and just as separated as I want. I used a brush as well and it helped. Then I'm just going to trim them as long as I wanted to see them. I'm going to add a little bit of greenery just to add some color and texture. This green leaf is just from one I have left over from another project. And I'm just going to add some faux boxwood to the top as well. Again, just to add some texture and color. I want the napkin to be the star of the show. So I'm just going to leave it very neutral with just the white and the green. And I think it turned out so adorable. Can you believe this technique? You definitely must try it. For the next napkin hack, I'm going to take this little board from Dollar Tree. It already has a white planked look, but I want it to look like a little house. So I'm going to use my square here and I'm just going to mark just about two inches and a half down each side and then on the center on top. And I'm going to trace some lines. I'm going to take it to my miter saw and I'm just going to make a couple of cuts right down those lines so that I have a house just like this one. Very easy. If you do not have a miter saw, you can always use a miter box. I'm going to sand it down to make sure everything's nice and smooth and then clean it off really, really well. I'm going to start with another technique, which you've used before, I'm sure. It is the Mod Podge technique. Once again, I'm just going to remove the back of the napkin. This one had two, so I'm going to remove both of them. And then I'm going to Mod Podge the surface of the house. I'm not the best Mod Podger, but many of you suggested to use the clear shrink wrap on top of the surface and roll it for a smooth finish. So we're going to try that today. After I Mod Podged it and left a very thin coat, I'm going to place the napkin very carefully right on top. And then I'm just going to tap it with my fingers very lightly. I'm going to cut off a piece of the shrink wrap and then I'm going to roll it as you guys mentioned. Again, I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to work, but let me tell you, I rolled it a little bit. I was stunned. This was so easy and it left zero bubbles. Definitely going to try it again. Thank you for the advice, by the way. All right, I let it fully dry. And again, I'm just going to use my sanding block. It's so easy. You just sand with the downward motion and it removes all that excess. I wanted to keep those plank looks. So I'm just going to use my X-Acto knife to remove that little tiny piece of paper within the um, just the lines and then remove them. So that way it has like a natural planked look. It was very easy. 
Now I'm going to Mod Podge the top of the napkin just to seal everything in place. Friends, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Check out the links that I have below for you. And if you want to connect with me there, check it out. All right, so now that it's fully dry, I want to add a little bit of embellishment. These little flowers I already had from another pick from another project. I removed the stem and I'm going to staple them in place towards the bottom right corner of the house. I cut off the excess little stem that was remaining and I thought these flowers were perfect for this design, don't you think? I loved it. I'm going to take some boxwood, remove the little bottom stem and just hot glue it here and there where I think it's just going to add some texture and beautiful bright color green. And this little house is my favorite from today. I absolutely love the way it turned out. It's very feminine. It has that vintage look from the napkin design. I loved it. For the next napkin hack, I am going to take this Hello Sweet Cheeks sign that I made for my bathroom a few years ago when I kind of like updated my bathroom. I removed the fabric portion of it and now I'm going to sand it down just a little bit. It's already painted white but I wanted to remove some of the black edges and then I just made it more of a distressed look. I was going to use this napkin however I realized that the design was just in the middle so I went back to my first napkin. Now the black and white napkin I got at Dollar Tree but um, of course I can use any napkin you have at home. I'm going to use the Mod Podge technique once again and I'm just going to apply a thin coat all over the wooden surface. That way we can apply the napkin. And I'm just gonna place it right there. I chose an area of the napkin that had uh, just beautiful design and the red was very vibrant. I'm gonna take that shrink wrap piece of plastic once again, roll it, and it worked so good. Oh, I am hooked now, people, I am hooked. All right, so now I'm gonna again, after it was dry, I'm gonna sand down the edges and make it very smooth. And I am going to sand down just a little bit on the edges for a distressed look. So simple, but such a good technique. I'm going to Mod Podge the top once again to seal everything in place. Friends, I would love for you to check out my blog. If you love watching video tutorials, but you also like reading the written format, on my blog I post every single week, and you'll be able to read all of my projects there. So check it out. It is linked below. All right, so now everything is sealed and everything is protected. I'm going to take some of this burlap ribbon. I'm going to flare a little bit of the bottom and top by removing some of the strings. And I'm just going to staple it around the top portion of the board. This is just to add texture and just a little bit of a character to it. I'm going to take this black hook that I get on Amazon. I'm going to screw it in to the bottom right side of the board. What I'm trying to do here is either a purse hanger, scarf hanger, uh, maybe even a coat hanger. I just think it's so beautiful and I'm going to use it for a purse hanger because I need somewhere to place my purse instead of just my kitchen chair. <laughs> All right, this ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby, it's a braided ribbon. It's kind of like a rope and it's stunning. I'm just going to hot glue it and staple it in place on the top and I love the way this one turned out. For the next napkin hack, I am going to redo this little table that my mom had in her apartment. And she asked me to give it a fresh new look, and that's what we're going to do today. It's also a little loose on the top, so we're going to make sure we tighten it for her and that it's in great condition for her. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, brad nail the top, and it's really easy. It already had brad nails, but they were just a little old. So I am going to just use the brad nailer with one inch brad nails and do it that way. Then I'm going to use my drill and tighten the legs for a very tight, secure uh, finish. All right, so now we're going to use some chalk paint and my chalk paint brush. I, once in a while, time, I used to do a lot of furniture flips. So having chalk paint brushes are the best if you want to flip any furniture and even for some home decor. I'm using Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the linen white, but you can use any paint you want. I just prefer chalk paint because it's wonderful when you are redoing furniture. I'm going to give everything three coats so it is fully covered. And I'm not going to distress it because my mom asked me not to distress it. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to Mod Podge the same napkin. Again, I wanted to use the black and white one, but I couldn't because it only had that tiny little strip. And it was just easier to use one that had a whole design. 
I'm going to put the, uh, the napkin on top, the shrink wrap on top. And again, I'm just going to roll it until it is smooth and it worked out so good. All right. So again, remember you can use any napkin you have at home with any design. All right. So after it was dry, I am going to sand down the edges. Look how satisfying this is. One sand down and it comes off. Oh, I loved it. All right. So now it is nice and finished. We are just going to seal everything, the top and the entire table with the polycrylic. This time, instead of a brush, I am going to use my sponge applicator. It works really well for furniture. It just adds a smooth, thin layer. I'm going to do the entire thing. And all you do, you just wipe it on. Let me show you what the little table looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I cannot believe the transformation. And it's so easy. Three coats of paint, Mod Podge the napkin, seal everything, and bam. You have a beautiful new furniture piece. My mom loved it. But I would love to know what you think of this table and what you think of all of them. Let me know which one is your favorite. And I have another video here for you to watch. Check it out. Click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.